You know, folks, a while ago when we started talking about the Great Reset and Agenda 2030 and all the craziness with the UN and the World Economic Forum, people looked at us and they thought we were crazy. They actually looked at us like we had four heads on us. And now many of the mainstream conservative people are beginning to talk about it and warn about it uh, probably a couple of years after we started doing it, several years actually. And what is even more interesting is a lot of these headlines related to the Great Reset are beginning to manifest in ways that nobody ever thought would be possible. Case in point, I am looking at an article in Breitbart that says, Great Reset, French government to recruit 3,000, ready for this? Green police over climate change. Let me read a portion of this. This is unbelievable. And it's talking about France's minister of the interior has announced that he has aims to create 3,000 posts for new, as he calls it, green police officials, a move that he has deemed necessary in the face to tackle climate change. Now, news of the potential creation of these new posts in France follows calls, this is what the article says, from European Union bigwigs for the creation of a block-wide civil, civil protection force to fight the effects of climate change under the control of Brussels, a move slammed by some as an attempt by Eurocrats to hoard even more power. And that's exactly what it is. It is an attempt for the globalist to take over and to develop the kind of power that they're going to need in order to form the union that we read about in the Bible and eventually give all of that power over to the final Antichrist. Folks, we are seeing this happen. It's happening all over Europe. The United States is capitulating to this mindset. And folks, they are doing this in the name of protecting people. They're going to people and saying, oh, no, 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 no. This is for your own protection. The climate's going to destroy you. And the things that are going on are going to happen. And we're going to do this so that we can protect you. But the cost of protection is a loss of freedom. Now, we saw this happening in the United States of America when uh, we saw the uh, Patriot Act come into play after the terrorist attack. It was something that all of these uh, people were looking forward to taking advantage of the civil liberties of Americans in the name of protection from terrorism. And that's exactly what's going on right now. They are taking away the civil liberties of the whole world in the name of protecting the world. And what they will end up doing is doing what they've done in the past and what they're going to do in the future. And we know this, and that is contribute to the totalitarian infrastructure necessary in order to facilitate the actions of not a antichrist. We've had many of them in the past, but the final antichrist. The world is getting ready for what we are about to see take place uh, it is amazing. I've talked about this many times before. When we look at the first four seals of the book of Revelation, it is a picture of what it's going to look like when this process ensues without the church being there to, to act as a preserving influence. Folks, we are watching the last days take shape in front of us and all of these nations that are participating in all of these actions in the name of protecting its citizens it's getting bigger and bigger, worse and worse. The times of desperation are increasing, and we are headed towards the final days. Let's pay attention to this, folks. Jesus is coming soon. Let's not forget it. God bless you.